All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, brothers that are laboring and pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with charity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in GM in Chicago. Coming to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, Lord willing to be edifying. And in this video, what I wanted to do was go into um, the tabernacle. Okay, the tabernacle um, from the time of Exodus and then uh, its symbolism now where we're at today. Okay, because um, during the time of Exodus, um, when we left out of Egypt, um, the Most High commanded the Israelites to uh, build the tabernacle in a specific way. Okay, and in this tabernacle is where the Most High would um, pretty much uh, dwell among his people. Well, uh, which are the Israelites, right? Um, but now we, we don't have a physical temple, okay? Which uh, the temple now um, is us, <laughs> is us, um, the believers. And the believers, right? The Christians like to talk about the believers a lot, right? The believers are the elect, man. Okay, the believers are the ones that have faith. Not all people have faith. Okay, so um, we represent that tabernacle now. All right. Um, so a, a lot of uh, what we read in the Old Testament, tabernacle, the temple, the Ark of the Covenant, you know, all had... It's, it's meaning, okay, uh, it's significance, and these things are things we don't have anymore at our disposal. We can't, we don't have a, a temple or a tabernacle where we could go to the Levites, the high priest, to offer up burnt offerings, sin offerings, okay, um we do those things now through the spirit okay w with our works okay and you know i'll bring out the, the precepts and um i wanted to start in exodus 25 and 8 where the most high gives the um command to build the tabernacle Okay, in the Ark of the Covenant. Alright, so this is Exodus 25 and 8. Um, it says, And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them, according to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall you make it. Okay, so the tabernacle... Everything in it uh, was to be constructed according to the pattern that was set by the Most High. Okay. And one interesting thing that um, I found in my research, um, my source for this was Rose Publishing, which um, Rose Publishing, which is one of those, you know, biblical, um, you know, they sell books and stuff on the scriptures, the Bible, stuff like that. Uh, and they had mentioned that the tabernacle was built uh, in 1440 BC. That's 1440. BC. All right. So I thought that was interesting, cool, um, fun fact. Okay. Well, according to that resource. Okay. 
was built uh, approximately 1440 BC. 144. All right. Um, let me see something here. Let me go to the word sanctuary. See what it says. Sacred place. Holy place of the temple. This was a, a holy, sacred place. Okay. Uh, let's read the next verse. It says, according to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof. Even so shall ye make it. All right. So most high he put the spirit upon certain men to give them the knowledge and wisdom to to build the temple all right i just wanted to see um what the headsum says for ta uh, tabernacle to rest this is where the most high would dwell with us okay rest this is where the most high will rest okay oh uh, let me see There is one in Psalms. Yeah, this is it. Psalms 132 and 13. It says, For the Lord hath chosen Zion. He hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. All right, and that is what... Um, Tabernacle, which was the most high sanctuary, right? So the tabernacle, right? We know tabernacle was uh, destroyed a couple of times, all right? Um, first, I believe it was um, during the time of... Uh, The Babylonians, right? The temple was destroyed by the Babylonians. Okay. Uh, then it was rebuilt. Right. Um, it was rebuilt. And then. It was desecrated again. Right. Right. Then you also have a uh, Herod's temple during the time of Yahushai, right? And then we know that it was destroyed by the Romans. Okay, it was destroyed by the by the Romans, and you have the Ark of Titus, which uh, is a monument for the destruction of the Israelites and the temple. Okay. So that was the last time we had a temple to to ourselves, right? Or you know, as a people. All right. So what now? Right. What now? All right. So like I said, we can't. We don't have a physical temple. Uh. Tabernacle where we could go and, you know, offer up sacrifices for ourselves, for our sins. Okay, like we did when we had the, the priesthood. Okay. Um, so, from there, we'll go ahead and bring out... Um, We'll go ahead and bring out Psalms 
the 51st chapter. In verse 16 it says, For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou, de thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Right? So even uh, the Most High had told Saul through Samuel that um, he requires a... Uh, To obey is better than to sacrifice, right? To obey the word of the Most High than to sacrifice. Because <laughs> um, people would just sacrifice and then go back to, you know, doing the same stupid shit. Okay? And the Most High at one point said, um, you know, I'm tired of your... Your sacrifice. I don't want your sacrifices. Okay, let's go ahead and um, Hosea six and six. For I desire mercy, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God. More than burnt offerings. Okay. So this is what the Mosai requires. This is what the Mosai wants from his people. Alright. That's a sacrifice. Okay. And um, we had to sacrifice when we had to do a, um, a burnt offering. Right, a burnt offering um, had to be the best of the flock, the best animal. All right, uh, for the for the sins, the blood was sprinkled on the altar. The animal was completely burned. All right, and this was symbolic for Yahushai. Okay. This was symbolic for Yahweh. He was that uh, lamb of the Most High without a spot, without blemish. All right, he was that sacrifice for um, the nation of Israel. Right. Let's go ahead and grab that in uh, Matthew one and verse. Uh, 21 it says and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai that's his true name not Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins right this was his purpose to be that uh, sacrificial lamb for the nation of Israel all right this was uh, he was a perfect and final sacrifice for all time all right, we don't have to do the burnt offerings anymore. We don't have to do the sin offering anymore. We don't have to do the guilt offerings anymore. All right, let's get um, Isaiah 53. In verse 10, it says, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So it pleased the Lord to bruise him. It pleased the Lord to bruise his son. And the scripture says that uh, the Most High dealeth with us as sons. <laughs> okay? Most I deal with us, it says, so we're going to be chastised too. We're going to have to bear our own cross. We're going to have to drink of that cup. All right. It says, thou shalt surely drink of that cup. Okay. Okay. 
So man, Yahweh Shai was that perfect sacrifice for us. And now thanks to him, we have a shot of salvation. We have a chance to be delivered. Right? Which according to the word of the Most High, a man they shall not lie. You know, his elect will be saved. His elect will be delivered. Alright, so that's our hope. Alright, that's our hope. Okay, we had that temple, that tabernacle, um, and we had the most holy place, the holy place, all right, uh, the altar events as a table of shoe bread. All, right, all these things had their meanings, right? And we don't have those physical things anymore, but like I said, we represent the temple now. All right, let's get... First Corinthians chapter six and verse nineteen it says, What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are God's. And what was that price we were bought? That we were bought with. Okay. Um, let's get. Uh, First Peter 1. And 18. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. From your vain conversation which was received by, tr by tradition from your fathers. But with the precious blood of Mashiach as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was made but was manifest in these last times for you. So we were uh saved. Right? Let's get that word redeemed. It says to release our receipt of ransom. To redeem, liberate by payment of ransom, to cause to be released to oneself by payment of a ransom, to deliver from evils of every kind, internal and external. That's heavy, man. We were redeemed, paid for slaves captives of the ransom of life. To liberate many from misery and the penalty of their sins. To lose one bound. This is what Yahweh wish I did for us, man. We were not bought with gold and silver. We were saved from... Yahweh Shai's blood, man. Which, like I said, when we had to offer the burnt offering, um, it had to be an animal without spot, without blemish. That was Yahweh Shai. He walked in the flesh as Yahweh Shai, right? As Yahweh Shai in the flesh, he walked perfectly. Did not sin. The only man to ever do it. All right, so now we must walk in newness of life. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Okay, so now we... Present our bodies a living sacrifice. Well, by doing what? Preaching this word. That's the main objective. To preach this word. Yahweh Shai said to be a sheep. So Peter that three times. Right? Our job is to uh, preach and go saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand.
Okay, let me see something here. First Peter 2 and 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Yahushua and Mashiach. Right? Because we don't have the physical uh, tabernacle. We don't have the Levitical priesthood. But now we are the spiritual house. Now we are the temple. Now we're uh, offering our spiritual sacrifices. It says, we're also, Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Who's this speaking? Or how was I? He's the cornerstone of this temple. He was the first stone laid. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same as made the head of the corner, which is him, Yahweh And the stone of stumbling and the rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, were unto also they were appointed. Right? So those that can't get it, those that can't understand this thing, those that were blinded from the truth. Right? Yahweh Shai is a stumbling block to them. Right? They've been blinded. The rest were blinded. Then the election have obtained it. This is where until also they were appointed. Man, they were appointed to that. And we were appointed to salvation. Lord Woodman were part of that number. Okay. Let me see. Let me get one more. Hebrews 10 and 19. Having therefore brethren boldness enter the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Mashiach, which the holiest of holies, only the high priest was allowed to enter. And here, it, it, remember the Peters? We were not redeemed by corruptible things. We were bought with a price. Being the blood of Yahweh Shai. We're, this is to enter with boldness into the holiest. By his blood, which we were redeemed by. This is by a new and living way which he had consecrated for us through the veil. That is to save his flesh. Right, because you had the holy place, and then you had the veil to separate the most holy place from the holy place. And his sacrifice now allowed us to enter. And heavy and high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Right, or like that Romans 12 said. By the renewing of our mind, becoming a new man. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. And let us consider one another to provoke us to love and to good works. And that's where we do these videos and go out to the highways and byways. Okay, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but ex exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. And we get. Yeah, we see the day approaching. We're the children of the light, not the children of the darkness. Right? We've seen these properties come in the past. We know the day is approaching. All right? So this is just a, a little bit of, uh, you know, the tabernacle with symbolism. And, you know, the importance of Yahweh Shai and his sacrifice. And... You know how this this thing of ours is, is a heavy office. It's a heavy thing, man. Don't take it for granted. Okay. Um, But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Lord willing, this video was edifying. As always, our honor, glory, and praises goes to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Until the next time, Shalom.